Hello everyone, it's LA. How y'all doing in the world today? I just wanna get on here and say hi to everybody. And I hope everybody's having a glorious time, you know, even though these times are touching because we got so much going on. You know, it's just like, man, it's like you don't know what to say about the, the world itself. But I wanna talk about some things. We need to work on the things. Ladies, what can we do while we sitting up in here and we're in the house and we can't go to our jobs and we just sitting here, we're bored, you know? But I wanna tell you something. It's just like you can go out there and exercise the first thing of your day. You get up and you go exercise. Yes, most people gotta take all their medicine, gotta wash their face, gotta brush their teeth. You should brush, wash your face and brush your teeth and get on the treadmill or do something in your house because it's part of exercise to get this tension, to get the tension so when it's time to go to sleep, you can sleep because you're used to working, used to everything. But I just want to talk about, you know, I see so many people on YouTube. I don't have a lot of clientele that watches me. But, you know, I am not tripping because I'm thankful for the people that do watch me. Cause this is rather hard for me, you know. Um, I wanna talk about, you know, the things that women go through every day. And today was one. I had to um, go and find something that we made at nachos. And, and then before then I had to, I got up and I had to go to the doctor about my, I have a ganglion in my hand. If you don't know what it's a cyst that grows on the inside, it's in my finger. So that's no fun. So I'm gonna have to have to go get surgery, get that off. But, you know, typical, this was done twice. Grew back one time. They tried to drain it. Still grew back. Ganglions ain't no fun. They're just a cyst and it'll interrupt the nerves in your hands and your wrist. But I want to talk about something. I want y'all to sit back and wonder if this world gets any worse. Will everybody be wearing a mask and gloves? I would hope so because all I see in the street is everybody, they don't have their mask on, they don't put gloves on. People's like, this doesn't matter. This is serious. It's in the air too. People don't take this coronavirus serious at all. People are playing with their lives out in the street. Everybody's just as busy as they was when they was working a job. The traffic is busy. It is really just uncalled for. It really is. Ain't nobody really. What's going to happen is if people don't start doing and staying home and doing what they're supposed to to protect themselves, they're going to protect and shut the whole thing down. And when they shut the food down, the grocery stores down, which they did in one country, they've done it. So don't get it twisted. They will do it. But people in this world got to realize you got to protect each other because at the end of the day, that's all we got. But we act like we can't seem to come to conclusions, even in doctor's offices. They got you standing way back, checking your temperature before you go in. They're protecting themselves and they get temperature, they get it, they got to go home. So I'm telling you, it's getting real bad. And the better it's gonna get because people do not follow orders. They don't. I've seen more people, traffic should not be backed up on the highways, shouldn't be backed up unless you're going to your job and doing, there's other people doing other stuff. They're going to find something to do. I've seen people at the park with their kids. I could not believe it when I drove through to go to the doctor. They was at the park with the kids. And none of them had no mask on, not no gloves, nothing. So I wonder what's going on with these people in the world. What are y'all thinking? Y'all think this is a game? I think they think this is a game, y'all. But you know what? I'm not playing because I'm going to take care of me and mine because I'm going to tell you something. This world ain't playing with you. If you think it's you, you can go out there and do all that and you're none dispensable and you're not healthy or your children, you don't know what's there. When they get sick, then you're at the hospital crying and you can't see them. But you could have prevented a lot of things or tried to prevent it and teach them the basic things. Washing your hands ain't everything. You need to wash your hands, wear that mask, and plus wear some gloves and take them off and no proper way to take them off and how to use them, especially if you're in places that got a lot of people with germs. You don't want the public restrooms got. You don't know who be in them and who don't. So I wanted to tell y'all something. You need to pray. One thing you need to pray that people settle down because I hate to shut everything down and teach you I don't understand the deal about tissue. Every piece of tissue, 
uh, it's, this just goes to show you, Oklahoma, all of y'all wiping y'all butt. <laughs> they, they all wiping they butt bad. They need the whole rolls. <laughs> they done took all the tissue. Only thing a person can do is buy paper towels and some uh, napkins that go on your nose. Because napkins are soft. But, you know, there's other ways. But y'all are just going outrageous by taking it all. Y'all not caring about the other people. They're like, y'all can use the napkins and the, the, the rolls. And, it. hey, if you don't get none, you just out of luck. That's why the stores is cutting down on what you get and how much you get. That's what you don't understand. Now you get one loaf of bread at Crest. They let you get one loaf of bread, and that's it. So if you ain't got enough for the whole family, that's your own fault. Because that's what they doing. You have to come back each day, get a loaf of bread. Or uh, come back and get tissue or a loaf of one or two. They're not finna, they're finna cut that down. So y'all need to recognize they're finna shut things down. And we're not taking it seriously because we're just typical Americans. We always wanted to go outside and be free. And we got freedom. But the thing is, there's stuff out there in that wind. It's airborne too. It ain't just on the surfaces. It can blow right on you in your eyeballs if you ain't careful. So you got to take very care of yourself and don't rub your face. Um, this, you know, and ain't nobody scared because I'm not scared of nothing. But, the, you know, the, I'm waiting on the man upstairs. When it's my turn to go, it's my turn. And I know y'all see it like that. But the kids don't got a choice. They are supposed to be here regardless. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to live longer than you. You got to show them what to do in this time of crisis. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, they're not going to follow the contour when you, where it is going. They ain't not going to follow nothing because we didn't do it. It's all right to be careful and safe, people. But people are not doing it. I went out there just to go to the doctor's office and go by the store. It was a ton of people without masks and do not care. I'm telling you, they run around here and don't care who they have get affected. And that's sad. That's really sad as a country because all of us should come together, but it's not coming together. And if, when they shut everything down, then everybody's going to get purity ignorant because of the fact they didn't shut everything down for you, dude. They don't show something, and then the jobs get shut down because people don't want to really abide the rest of the jobs that people have because simple people don't want to sit in the house. It's hard to sit in your own house, and there's people that don't even have a house. You know, like him folks on the street or whatever. You need to think about them too, not just yourself. But I just got on here to tell y'all, hello. I hope everyone's doing well. And just get your butts off the streets, please. And think about your neighbor. Think about your kids. You know, I can't say it for sure because I ain't seen no patients that have this corona. But I can tell you this much. If it's a fact, we still need to protect our own and our kids. And yourself, you know what I'm saying? You you have to protect yourself because you can't be there for them if you get sick or something happened to you. Everybody's like, well, if we get it, hope we fight it. You know, it's not all that easy. This is a little bit worse than the flu. People assuming it's just the flu and it's going to be easy. No, it ain't. It's going to take you out if you ain't got no, uh, you got, if you don't, if you're not strong enough to handle it. But anyway, I just want to say, y'all, it was a lovely day, pretty, but just seeing everybody out there and don't care, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to care about our neighbors and please care about the young people, the kids, because they have to live here when we go. So you got to think of that. How's it going to be for them if we can't show them now? They're not going to be showed when they get older. They're not going to have a come, not going to know how to deal with it. But y'all have a blessed day. I'll talk to y'all again. And please subscribe to my channel. I thank y'all for listening.